Hi everybody, this is Tarami with Chopsticks Alley, also author of Vietnamese. I'm actually sharing with you a recipe today that is in my book, and it is the catfish in a clay pot dish. Today, we're actually not using catfish, we're using sea bass. It's my preferred fish. To me, it tastes more buttery, and um, the, the firmness of the fish is what I like. So I hope you enjoy the recipe. It's pretty easy braising technique. Once you know how to braise fish, you would use the same technique to braise chicken, pork, beef, you name it. So I hope you enjoy the video and give me some feedback and let me know what you think. Thank you! As usual, we always start with some chopped onions and garlic. Here I am washing my sea bass because they can get a little bit uh, slimy, shall we say. And there's some scales, so you want to take the back of a knife or if you're very skillful you can take the edge of the knife and scrape off against the grain. I also like to clean my fish with salt. In Vietnamese we have a saying Ga không ăn muối, ga ương, which means if the fish does not get salt it will rot. So after you've thoroughly washed your fish you want to pat it dry and then cut them into thicker chunks so that way the fish does not fall apart during the cooking process. In a medium-high heat pot, I added two tablespoons of oil and two tablespoons of sugar to make my caramel. Once the sugar turns brown like this, which can happen very quickly, you're going to add your onions and garlic. And stir them up a little bit so that they do not burn. So once the onions and garlic had a chance to caramelize a little, I will drop in my fish just like this gently and wait for it to brown a little bit on one side and I'm going to add some pepper on the other side. It only takes about two minutes maybe and you want to flip it over so that both sides has a chance to get that beautiful caramel color. And now we're going to add our fish sauce. So I'm going to eyeball mine and it's important to know how salty your fish sauce is so you don't add too much. While the fish is braising, I'm going to prepare my garnish. Here I have two sprigs of green onions. I'm going to chop off the ends, both ends, and then chop them up into little half inch to an inch slices. Let's check back on our fish. I prefer mine, the Vietnamese Southern style, which tends to be a little bit sweeter. So I'm adding more sugar to my fish, and that's up to you. If you don't like yours too sweet, you do not need to do that. And we want to cook the fish until the sauce is of a thick consistency, just like this, and it is ready to be served. Yum! Here I am serving mine with steamed rice. Look at the texture and the thickness. It is perfect. After all that hard work, right? So easy. Okay, here we go. Mmm. It is perfect. The fish has that buttery texture that I love so much in sea bass. And the flavor is well balanced between sweet and salty and umami, of course, when we add some fish sauce to give it that depth of flavor. I hope you get to try out the recipe. Give me some feedback, let me know what you think. And I look forward to sharing with you all the recipes from my book Vietnamese. I'll talk to you soon. Bye!